Okay, YouTubers, this is the Angry Prepper. Today's video, we see what the fuck they're doing. Now, in the Angry Truth channel, or on the Angry Truth channel, rather, sorry, I talk, I'm talking about a lot of the things they talked about at the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland, which is this week. Connecting all of the things they're saying, guys, I get it now. I get it why the food shortage and the strain on the power system or the increase in demand, those terms that they're using, I know why they're using these terms. Because they're creating the problem by using these words and making the problem worse than it really is. And listen, I mean, the strain on the, electric, the, the electrical grid is pretty fucking bad. The food shortage, that's pretty bad. But when you start using these terms, guys, you start piquing people's interest. When you start using these words, you start blaming human or civilization for running the way we're running they start using these terms guys because when they start introducing the term we have to find a solution which means decreasing the population how many people are going to be on board with that well in or rather at the davos meeting if you will they talk about all of the strains that we are seeing here in the, in the world, around the world, right? We're seeing a, a strain on the food supply. We're seeing a strain on gasoline. We're seeing a strain on the electrical grids, whether that's here, India, UK, Australia. We're seeing a strain on these things because they sit there and say there's an increase in demand. Why is it an in increase in demand? Because there are more people now, I guess. I mean, in fucking two years, all of a sudden, the population, I mean, listen, there were a lot more kids in the last two years, yes, but those kids are still kids. They don't have their own apartments, they don't have their own cars, so where's this strain coming from? Well, when you keep using terminology like that, and then you start, you start slowly introducing the idea of decreasing population by X, Y, and Z, people start to get on board with that. Now, a lot of people won't, but there will be many of the elites that will. Because I don't, I don't even think all elites are in on this world economic form. But they're slowly introducing this strain on society, apparently. Now, Soros said a couple interesting things this week, or rather today, sorry. He said a couple interesting things about end of civilization because of, not because of the Ukraine-Russia war, but because that Ukraine-Russia war is kicking off what's going to happen next. But he did say that the end of civilization could kick off if World War III starts, and that, of course, billions of people are going to die. Now, we knew this already. Interestingly enough, why would he say that at the uh, Davos meeting, World Economic Forum, and then not have a solution? So again, guys, like I said in one of my videos before, these people are going to create a problem with no solution for the purpose of decreasing population. So now, guys, they're going to offer solution of less people. They're going to offer solutions like uh, carbon footprint tracking. They're going to offer solutions of uh, reduced meals or meat, if you will, reduced food, so that there's less tractors running and less cows farting in the air and less tractors spewing poison into the air. These are the things they're going to start introducing, if not, they haven't already. They are going to start saying, guys, well, if we get this amount of people off this planet, we can go back to normal. That's also why they're pushing for more pandemics, if you will. That's the only way, that and a catastrophe, got a cataclysmic catastrophe that's going to uh, pretty much damage half the world's population. But they're not going after half the world's population. I think they're going after a third of the population, which is still a lot of people uh, to die off, if you will. But they're saying all of this now, guys, out in the open. The media is now tracking this. More and more media agencies are picking up what's going on in Davos. They actually invited more um, reporters, if you will, to fucking Switzerland to talk about this. Why would they do that? Because they want more people to be open to the idea of less people. But if you look at the agencies they, they uh, invited, those agency guys only reach certain groups of people, certain tiers of people, right? So obviously, guys, I, I don't mean to the, the, the demean anyone, but certain grades of people or intelligence of people will read certain uh, media outlets, right? So smarter people, for example, not saying that it's, it's so, 
but smarter people will read something like the Times Magazine or, or the Wall Street Journal because they use more sophisticated words. Whereas uh, school grade people who have, let's say, fifth, sixth grade understanding will read something like New York Post or Daily News. Here in New York, that is. Right? So obviously, guys, if you look at the media they fucking invited there, these are medias that have college, word, uh, college level words in their magazines. Let, let me simplify like that. They are opening the floor for more of this information to get out, but to who? Us, the prepper community, smarter people, if you will, us, we're onto this shit. We see this shit coming. We know where this is going. So now they're trying to invite more people to accept this. I think though, guys, for us preppers that see this coming, I think we might be the ones writing this out. We might be the ones that have our guard up and the next bullshit that they throw at us, we'll be ready for. But the rest of society is not gonna wake up in time to handle this shit, whatever it might be. Guys, all I'm saying is that a lot of us are, a lot of us have our eyes wide open. We see what the fuck they're doing. But unfortunately, the rest of the world is not gonna see it until it's too late. Some people are waking up as we speak. Some people are now discovering what Davos is or the World Economic Forum. But there are also people out there that agree with the ideology that less people means we can get back to normal, that we can have a planet where uh, our resources are not being drained or strained, if you will, like they keep saying. So guys, with that, it's just something to think about. All the shit that I was reading that was going on in Davos, it just dawned on me. They're doing this shit and they're, being, they're not even being sneaky about it. They're being honest. They're being upfront. But they're looking for more people of a certain caliber to join their elitism. Now, we're not joining their elitism, but I think a lot of us are going to be able to ride out this storm while other people won't. All right, guys. So other than that, this is The Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching.